tutorial is going to be on making an envelope pillow. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's not going to be a pillow, it's a cushion. Let me rephrase that. This tutorial is going to be on how to make an envelope. Is it a cushion or a pillow? It's a cushion. Uh, yeah, it's a cushion. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. tutorial it's all about making an envelope cushion just like this one they are super easy to make and really quick I'd say the max mine's taken is about half an hour really very very cheap as well I managed to get a lot of fabric for about three pounds and they're just fabric remnants from curtains first of all you want to get the inside of the cushion so this is a 16 by 16 inch cushion insert with a little bit of fabric on that's nice this one's duck feather so it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones however if you just really wanted to go on cheapness, um, there are other ones you can get, but I just do this because it's very comfy and it's nice. So that cushion insert is 16 inches by 16 inches, meaning that you then want to add, oh, front one, you are going to add on half an inch. So what you'll end up with is 16 and a half inches. So, and what you want to do is measure that out and then I've, I've got a chalk pencil isn't a pencil and you just want to mark out 16 and a half so from where you begin to where you end well done Robin that was really well thought out again I'm very good at this I want 16 and a half inches just to allow for when you sew you don't want it just to get smaller than 16 inches because it won't fit around the cushion 16 and a half again so you've measured it all around so how many sizes a square half Yes, you got it right. Four sides, which means you want to do this four times. Make You've marked out 16 inches by 16 inches. You then want to cut that square out and that will be the front of your cushion. That is your first square. So this is obviously going to be the front. Mine is... Aubergine in gold, I seem to like the colour aubergine. Uh, next, you want to do the back, and you are going to need another full square, but it's going to have to be four inches bigger. So this one is going to be 16 and a half by, and then you add four, so mine is going to be 20 and a half. So you can lay this piece to one side. If that's all marked out, you just want to cut it out again. So what you're left with now is a front piece which is smaller than the second piece. So what you're going to do with the second piece is with the height of 20 and a half, you want to cut that in half right down the middle. So for me, that'll be 10.25. You can't iron this piece down. All you want to do is fold one of the sides over, not too much, just enough to make a hem. And then you want to tack it just along the top because that is where you are going to be sewing. What you want to get is some thread and a needle and just loosely sew along the line to create a hem. This bit can be as messy as you want because it is going to be taken out once you've done the sewing. If you're not a confident sewer, I would recommend ironing it. However, because I've done this so many times, I just think I know where the straight line is. That's me blowing my own trumpet, isn't it? Um, so once you've tacked that half, I've decided to be easy on myself and I haven't picked a pattern that would look good matching the other half. So when I'm talking about pattern matching, I mean, if I was to use this fabric, which I was very close to using, it might look better if on the cushion side where the two envelopes fold into each other, if it matched, so say I'd cut down the yellow, I'd then want to possibly match it again with the yellow so it looks like it's flowing. But with the pattern that I've got, I won't need to. Make sure you're not creating too much of a hem, as this can lead to there being an opening when the pillow or the cushion, I can't actually work out the difference, is closed. Boom, 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 boom. There's a doggy at my door, and he's trying to come on in. Once you've got both the hems tacked, you then want to just get your sewing machine and go straight across the lines. So now I've got my sewing machine with me. So most sewing machines are exactly the same in how you thread them up. However, if you don't know, then in the future... Oh! Lincoln! 
He just pulled, oh, my phone is actually in a million pieces. I can't believe it. So most sewing machines are exactly the same in how you thread them up. But if you aren't aware how to, then in the future, I'm going to do a video on how to do it. So if it is the future, there will be a link below in how to do it. And if it isn't the future, then in the future, there will be one. So what you wanna do now is just sew along the hem you've made on both of them. So you have sewn along the hems of the two smaller pieces. You want to get your one big piece and say which side is going to be your outer side. And then you want to face it the right side in. You want to do exactly the same with your smaller pieces. And I suggest that the pieces where you can see the fold of the hem come onto the outside at first because they'll then be turned inwards. Once you've laid your pieces out how you want them, you then want to go ahead and tack all around the outsides. So once that's all tacked, you are ready to sew again. And this time you just want to go round the outside. end of it which I'm pretty sure I was taught in year seven or something was just just to coming to the end if you've got the reverse button on a sewing machine you just want to be able to do that and it stops it the stitch from coming undone so once you've sewn all around the edges you are left with a square and the other side it's obviously got the split in it you just want to take the tack out so now you just want to take the inside and pull it out and you are left with a cushion cover so you just want to make sure when you're going around on the sewing machine you make the ends quite sharp. And so what I do to make the corners quite sharp is I flick the foot up on the sewing machine but I keep the needle in so I can just pivot the fabric allowing for a sharper corner or diagonal, whatever I'm sewing. I just do that. Obviously putting the cushion in, super simple. Corner to corner in this. And there you have it, a really easy envelope cushion. So still got the envelope there but because you've allowed a seam allowance, you can't see the inside of the cushion.